Okay, really quick, really quick to address the whole women caring more about looks. Okay, so here's, here's my view on this, and you guys are free, feel free to weigh in. So, I think women care a lot, a lot, about things, physically speaking, that are totally outside of a man's control. Things like height. Uh, you could even, I mean, height, hair, and if a man's balding, that's really out of his control. Um, penis size, physical size, and then we can also talk like race, skin color, that's a component too. Women are far less likely to, men are more likely to, or more willing to date outside of their race mm -hmm. than the reverse. Mm -hmm. um, and perhaps the, I think the solely, well, uh, there's stats on this. I, I, I haven't committed them to memory but men are more likely to date outside of their race. Um, so there are more things out of our control that are a really big deal for women, oftentimes deal breakers, than the reverse. So like I said, height, whoops, hold on. there's height, there's, uh, there's balding, penis size, <laughs> that's out of our control. Whereas the things we care about when it comes to your looks, aside men who have like a very, very, who care about breast size and ass size yeah which ass size you, women can control to some extent mm -hmm. uh through exercise um really the primary thing that you know in terms of you can control when it comes to your weight weight women can control height we can't control that so that's why i think women care more about looks than men do yeah i'd say men care more about looks for women and I say women care more about like money <coughs> and stuff like that you know what money. I mean I feel like all of that stuff kind of blows over depending on how you're much literally money the wearing man has. a t-shirt that says size queen this which... is for my gay sister this was a gift to her and I'm wearing it in spirit of her tonight a size queen is a woman who wants who a big dick a, yeah yeah I'm also okay. manifesting so yeah, clearly you want a guy, okay, penis sizes, how, how big of a peen do you want? <laughs> the thing is, is like, if you look at all of my old videos, if you look at my stuff pinned on Twitter, like my ex was average is, is I don't know, I <laughs> yeah, don't want to burn my eyes anymore, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like, if it's a like nice person that I like, like spending time with and it's an average size dick, I don't care. But if he's a jerk and an asshole, but he has a huge dick, you'll tolerate disrespect and poor treatment because he's compensating or he's, he's uh, bringing something else to the table. Me personally, no. Okay. <laughs> but like, is a big dick nice? Like, of course. Okay, cool. So look, a lot of women have a penis size preference, height preference, right? Here, let's yeah. go around the table. Uh, how tall are you? And like, do you have a bare minimum height preference for a guy? Um, I'm 5'10", and I've dated all the way down to 5'6". Okay, do you prefer a guy to be taller than you? Um, I don't care. Okay. Yeah. What about you? 5'2". Do you have a height preference? As long as he's taller than me. So 5'3", totally cool with it? Yeah. Doesn't sound like the truth, but okay. <laughs> what about I'm you? I'm 5'9", and I have gone on a date with a guy who was 5'8" but after you were explaining like your perspective on that, I see what you're saying. I there was... wasn't a second date with that guy, was there? Well, for other reasons, mm, not because okay. of his height. But, Interesting. Um, I think I was thinking more of men like to have an attractive woman because woman, that mm -hmm. like gives them more status, yeah. whereas women don't really care about the status. Like If their man is not as good looking, if they love their man, they're still going to be with their man. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you had me in the first part. Women are more attracted to status. I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I get what I get what you're saying. But, but I mean, maybe the way you worded it, just. But I get what you're saying. Okay. If women didn't really care all that much about looks, actually, hold on. I'll come back to that. We were going around the table. Go ahead. Um, I'm five five, and I think like minimum for me is like five ten. Okay. Um, I'm five three, and as long as he's taller than me. Okay. I'm 5'4", and I honestly, like, don't mind height, like... Wait, what about you? Um, I'm 5'2 and 3 quarters. 
um, like five nine and up. But I do want to add that on average, women are shorter than men, and so I think that kind of goes just with it's just natural that they're gonna date a man who's a little bit taller. Now the penis thing, I think that's a little bit ridiculous. And I also think that w- men care more about beauty and women care more about status. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I can give you an argument, but really quick on the height thing. How tall is your husband? Five, nine and a half. Uh, you were in a relationship, right? How tall was your boyfriend? He was like five, like eight, five, nine. How tall was your last boyfriend? I think we were like the same height. How tall is your uh, is your current boyfriend? Six feet. Okay. How tall is your boyfriend? Six three. Six three. Okay. Five ten. Five ten. Six one, and then the one before that, five seven. Okay. Well, I mean, a lot of women say you know height's not that big of a deal, but six but women one. Women are shorter six, on three. average than men on average. Right, but you'll have videos of women who are like five feet saying, like they'll have like height requirements for men. And this is also evidenced as what's going on on dating apps. Women can filter by height and they've actually looked at, they've done analysis on this. Women will filter, like put in a filter and say, I wanna date a guy above this height. But some, some guys also say I only date blondes. It's true. Or blue eyes or big butt. <laughs> Or big boobs. He's saying that those are things that you can change. Though. You can change your hair color. You can get implants. You can get a BBL. But he cannot do anything to make his bone structure taller. I mean, he gets the surgeries. resort to not having to make boobs yourself taller. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. There is a surgery. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can get a surgery to make yourself taller. Um, and also, there is a surgery you can get to change. Wait, your going around the table. Question. So, have, who here has been on a dating app? Just show of hands. Who's been on dating apps? No, never been on a dating app. Never been on a dating app. Never been, never been? No. You been? Okay, what percentage of men do you swipe no on, on a dating app? Well, probably 99.8. Probably the same. Yeah. How many do you swipe no on? Like, most of them. Yep. What about you? Like 99.9. Wait, hold on. So on dating apps where you're really just making a very quick judgment about someone's physical appearance, why is it the case that you guys are only swiping yes on like 1% of dudes, whereas dudes are swiping on like a lot of, like what, 50% of women? Because men are more desperate. I feel like, yeah. So, wi- so, so women are much can. pickier when it comes to physical appearance. No, they're not it, as desperate. Ergo, ergo, women care more about looks than men do. It, yeah, when it comes to when it comes to dating apps, things like speed dating, you will find that women place a premium on a man's physical appearance. That's what all the studies have shown. And it makes sense because you have nothing to judge other than his physical appearance. So if you initially see that he's not physically attractive, you're going to disqualify him. So that's what we see. The guys who are typically attractive, they get the most swipes, they get the most matches. Whereas the guys who's not typically attractive, they tend to be the most most of the men they don't get matches at all they don't get swipes at all so his point is valid in that regard also this is a really niche example i'm about to give but i would argue men who are physically disabled compared to women who are physically disabled men are going to struggle way more in dating if they're physically disabled than women you know what's interesting is that there's a study done and if a woman in a marriage gets ter- or not terminally ill but severely ill they're six times more likely to be left by their male partner than if the male was to get sick well the issue with that study is probably i don't think it's been replicated so you have a huge issue with a lot of these soft science studies called the uh, i forgot the exact term they they can't replicate any of these studies Okay. And still and, a study. And also, yeah. and also, I would add, ask you, who is doing these studies? I would, is, like, a lot of these studies are done by, like, feminist, <laughs> feminists <laughs> who, who already have decided what the end result is, and they're going to try to confirm their bias. And they're, they're, if you go into a study, 
for example, cigarette companies in I think the 60s, right, hired scientists to, to, to study the harmful effects of cigarettes. And they came out with studies that said, well, cigarettes are actually not harmful. In fact, they can be, you know, they can have some uh, positive health impacts. Okay, so if, who, you gotta ask yourself, who's funding these studies? Yeah, hmm. well, who's funding yours? I don't have a computer I, I've with incited, notes in front of me. I've incited well, any studies. Typ typ okay, typically, then let me bring know, a computer with some notes. Let's go. Typically, you know how valid they are about how controversial the results are going to be. Um, like, a lot of these are bought, but they're political. So, like what Brian said, there is a, a replication. A lot of these studies crisis, don't replicate. I, yeah. I, I won't call it a crisis because I work in the field of psychology, so mm -hmm. I won't call it a crisis. But there are studies. When we talk about attraction and things like women valuing looks, those are some of the most replicated studies, like evolutionary psychology, et cetera. They replicate all the time. But when you talk about, like, what did you just say? Um, men were more likely to leave their sick their wives sick than their sick, par sick partner were yeah. to leave them. See, I've never heard of that study. That's not to say it's invalid or unreliable, but I've just never heard it. I would like to review it. I would like no, to actually yeah. see that. I mean, I reread it yesterday, but I knew about it probably two years ago because my sister and I talk about this kind of stuff all the time. And she also mm -hmm. majored in psych, criminology, all of that. So. But let me, well, this. <laughs> but you agreed, though, that. Um, that men do value beauty more than women do. Yeah, but, because but that's how we the, draw inferences about a woman's fertility. But the argument yeah. is, is that like, um, I guess for an initial date, yeah, maybe women are a little bit more judgmental. But in terms of long term, like if you get with a woman and she's like really beautiful, but then like she just, she just totally goes downhill. Mm -hmm. Then maybe you wouldn't want to stay with her versus or I just cheat. versus a woman who's with a guy and if he if Did he get cheat? yeah I'm 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 speaking objectively though <laughs> yeah I'm saying like if she declines like, in whoa if she declines in appearance then the guy he'd probably stay with her but he'd probably step outside of the relationship but typically you would say like men have more stressful jobs right yeah so like men age faster yeah so but a woman isn't gonna leave a man for that not if he has money status resources. Right. So you, but you, you agree though that there is. That I, yeah, difference. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't disagree. But um, the the distinction I drew was that I would say men, uh, women value physical appearance as much as men, but men are more visually receptive and sexually stimulated by a woman's physical appearance than women are with men. Mm -hmm. mm, that's yeah. that's that's how I would say it. Okay. Last thing on this, so. I would also argue, in terms of appearance, depictions of aspirational body types for men are far harder to achieve and attain than what you see of women. No. Okay, <laughs> but like, so let, let me, what are you going off of? So yeah. she said no, but so let me, let me try to give a bit more details because it's... So if you look at, for example, superhero movies, so if you look at the men oh. in superhero movies, the aspirational body type, in order to achieve as a man the aspirational body type, the apex, the optimum body type, that's going to require either, I mean, elite level genetics, treating the gym like a full-time, part-time job, excuse me, uh, or steroid use. Whereas women, I would argue, an eight, any 18-year-old any woman, so long as she monitors her caloric intake without even having to do any sort of physical training, can achieve a near idealistic uh, aspirational body type. A woman need not do strength training, for example, to have what 99% of men will deem like a sexy or a hot body. But, but for like... a man to have an aspirational body, to have a hot or sexy body, he will need to have some degree, or perhaps a huge degree, of uh, physical training to achieve that, not just caloric uh, restriction. I would say that your ideal body type that you're talking about in the superhero movies mm -hmm. and all of that is like ideal <coughs> to men by other men. But if you, okay, most women are on like some kind of hormonal birth control. And if you look, birth control makes women more attracted to more feminine features. And like, okay, let's, let's remove 
poison from the conversation and let's talk about I'm being I'm exaggerating but you're you're making the argument that it's the, it's changing women to be more attracted to feminine features in it men. is okay. it has that's, that's not the natural order of things though it's not the natural order yeah, but that's but, a reality but that's a reality right now where okay, women are sure. more attracted to it's that like pete davison that scrawny like drugged out motherfucker you know what i mean like this people is the think end this hot. is the fall of western civilization <laughs> and this, is, and this is a failed society i don't society. think women and more women on average prefer men that are like taking like a heavy dosage of peds performance enhancing yeah. drugs and honestly i think everybody should strength train i don't think well, women should just watch their calories but i do get your point um because for a man because you're naturally going to have more testosterone you're gonna be able to put on a lot more muscle mass and a lot quicker if you train in the gym and honestly if you're a guy and you're not going to the gym you need to go to the gym um and I, that goes for women as well but honestly, I don't think like personally, if you just work out and you take care of your body, that's very achievable for for most people. And I don't think women but are attracted to like super yoked like. I'm not, not saying I'm that. not saying that, but I would argue like. Okay, like, well, I'm not saying like full on bodybuilder status, but I would argue like an untra if you compare an untrained man to a guy who has just an athletic build. Mm -hmm. So think like you know he's got definition and he's cut whatever, not fucking full on bodybuilder. Oh, like I would argue most women are going to be more attracted to the athletic build, versus, like, most women would probably actually put the guy who's just skinny. They're not going to put that in like the attractive category, from a body perspective. Whereas a woman can be just have a low body fat percentage and be deemed physically attractive like pretty much across the board whereas a guy who's done no physical training and he's just <laughs> he's just has a low body fat percentage probably not yeah that's not attractive don't be skinny um well, okay thank you no but i'm my just point. <laughs> no but uh, but i'm just saying but even then if you think about it this way like men typically have more physical jobs so sometimes you know you can build okay. a little bit of muscle from your job um but honestly I don't think it's ridiculously hard to get in shape. I think it's just consistency. And I think that goes for both men and women. But and for, for a woman to ha like have a body that a lot of men will view as sexy, mm -hmm. she need not never participate in a sport. She need not never even exercise. She need not ever even step foot in a gym. Where I, was, where I would argue for women to find a particular male body type like hot or sexy or attractive you have to put in more work he's gonna have to put in more work than a woman so because i'm bringing this up because there's this whole trope about women have the have to meet these like unrealistic beauty mm -hmm. standard but the beauty standard for a man is like leaps and bounds like orders of magnitude more difficult to achieve for the average guy than the reverse like an 18 year old woman can fairly easily have the ideal female body type, but an 18 year old male probably has not or cannot ch achieve his physique potential. It could yeah, take Yeah, but years. also women give birth and go through a lot of bodily changes irrelevant. and we, it is relevant irrelevant. though. No, but it is relevant though. Erroneous, and erroneous. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, and also we have menopause. Right? You think a woman what? who just watches her calories can stay the same size forever? No, because she yes. would continue to have to eat lower calories. Because, what? you know, uh, another reason why we go to the gym as well <laughs> is because it increases your metabolism so you can eat more food and you can eat more calories. The metabolism changes is the case for both genders. Well, yes, but I think it's also like the hormone cycle too. Like a, yeah. every week of the month, we're different. We crave different things, so it's not steady. Like a man is has his testosterone spike once, and then that's it. It's very normal. Midjack donated one hundred dollars. It's always funny watching two men now try to help women understand more reasonable mm. standards that will help women find better men slash relationship, and women argue it. Women are their own worst enemy. Uh, yeah. yeah, but my point is, is that every uh, working out will benefit both genders, women and men. And I think it's yes. very important that they both 
work out. If a woman literally doesn't work out at all, you understand she can still gain weight. But he's arguing. Right. We're talking about like beauty standards here. Yeah. Isn't that what you're saying? For women, you basically just have to not be fat. <laughs> That's it. Uh, uh, yeah, essentially. Okay, That's but... it. You like, but for a man, okay. I, I almost feel like we have some photos. Like we can pull up. Uh, oh, you have yeah. there. I have a folder in the Dropbox folder. I have a folder in the. Oh, you went? Did you go into podcast? Yeah, and I went to men and women. I have uh, Gal Scarlett Johansson. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. Yep, yep. Well done. All of them work out. I'm trying to figure out what folder is that, Nick. I'm trying to. Pod, Drop Hawks podcast. And beauty, standards. beauty standards, yes. Okay. Then, oh, thin men. Can you do also? I want to compare like thin men, thin women. Yeah. Oh, can you pull up? Can you pull up the second? Wait, go into thin men folder. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to find. I was giving birth irrelevant to this conversation. <laughs> like you're not having to go through that. Uh. Here, pull up. I don't know. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. What the fuck? All right, pull up uh, Hugh Dodge. <laughs> it's the blue yeah. backdrop. Do you see it? Yeah. All right, and then go to Thin Women folder, and then um, uh, pull up. I don't know. I'm trying to find one that's reasonably fair, right? Do you work out, Brian? Uh, I should work out more, I'll say that. <laughs> I don't know. Pull up the one where she's like holding coconuts. <laughs> Ever. It's the second one in well, there. Just the guy first and then the woman. Okay. okay. And then the ones you pulled up, we'll, we'll look at those two. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Go ahead. coming guys all right that's a skinny dude mm -hmm. okay skinny dude now let's go the woman that's a skinny woman she probably most works out i would too. argue more men are going to be like she has an attractive body than if you go back to the man then women are going to be like he has an attractive body honestly i see more women in the, in the gym than i do men nowadays that's cat <laughs> no it's actually not and actually I'm, well i mean we how's have that a, relevant though we have a woman's gym, going around the table like that body that i showed you of the guy he was he had a good body he had a low body fat percentage but he's he's thin he has no muscle yeah okay is do you think that that's like the apex like are we arguing like fo just those photos photo to photo compared to each other yeah right now okay but you're showing a photo of someone that's pale Compared to someone that's in the sun, which pale okay, is I'll already... I'll find a pale, thin woman. <laughs> okay. Not More... every guy just looks like that, though, without going... Like, also, you know, like, I would argue that he's gym. an unhealthy oh, body fat percentage. He like, looks like he doesn't eat. That looks anorexic to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would argue that's anorexic. That's not average. Fine. That's not I'll an find... average thin man. Yeah. Come on. Okay, fine. I'll find an untrained and thin that guy. that girl clearly goes to the gym. Here. She okay, here. No, 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 no. Hold on. Nick, Nick, go to the thin men folder... Pull up the first one. Pull up the first one. It should be one. I'm two, an eight, actual four, health coach. Max. I know what I'm talking about. All right. Women this need a strain train just as more, much as men this do. This will be a more fair example. I'm actually. Okay. There you go. That's, there you, that is that fair. a bit more fair? Yeah, okay. that's fair. Sure. So I would argue he's tan. <laughs> All right. There you go. There's the untrained male body. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he's not fat, he's not overweight. And then go back to the woman. Okay. That girl definitely she works, works out. out. I don't she know. runs, that no. girl, she jogs, she probably does Pilates. That, her she stomach. probably does no, yoga. That is not okay. a girl that doesn't Do work out. Trust me, yeah, getting, having that body, maintaining she, she that with just a diet is very difficult. You need to work it, out to build muscle, to would, build your yeah. metabolism, to keep the fat off. I'm literally trying to educate you right now. How are you? Edu how are you educating me? Because that's not in a body of a girl that doesn't go to the gym, like, or yeah, mm -hmm. that doesn't go to the gym. Like that girl clearly works out. It's so much harder to keep a lean body if you're not going to the gym and no, it's all through diet. Building metabolism. It's all through diet. It, 
Uh, you Muscle know what? Is diet, diet is very important. But calories you know what in, happens calories when you combine that's both? That, that's all that matters. Amazing <laughs> things happen. <laughs> huh? With muscle? You can't just eat your way into to muscle. Some. Not every woman can just look like that without going to the gym and, you know, eating a thousand calories a day. Here, Nick, why don't, why don't you try <laughs> um, the Thin Women folder? Yeah. It's C B R E T. You have to uh, also she's take into account top. genetics. Yes, I know. Obviously, I can't find like the perfect one-to-one <laughs> comparison. I'm just trying to like. You're trying to say average. it's harder for men. I'm trying to say that that guy here. I, I, okay. Maybe you feel she like she works out. <laughs> she's she's like yeah she, yeah, she does normal. have muscle i can see her shoulder she looks i can see her this tricep. Is like, there's an indentation uh, this is an there achievable like this is, this this is, is an achievable fair. physique for a woman without having to go to the gym um she this is she an works achievable out at home, physique then. look at her legs there's no must there's minimal muscular definition in the legs fair. that's how you know okay i would argue that most women most men are going to be like <laughs> whoa she's got a nice body <laughs> go back to the guy most women are not going to be like, whoa, he's got a nice body. Okay, but women are supposed to represent like childbearing qualities where men are supposed to represent protect, like protecting you and oh, your so family. Oh, so muscular development, right? Yeah. So the beauty standard is it's harder for men to achieve the aspirational body type than the reverse. <clears throat> the female beauty standard that feminists cry about is more than obtainable for like 90% of women. You basically flat stomach, you don't need abs, maybe a little bit of muscle tone, healthy uh, BMI. Ways to hit Where ratio. are you getting that muscle tone yeah. from? What's that? Where are you getting that muscle tone from? He's saying our workouts are easier the than gym. what they have to do. You, like maybe, we could do look, Pilates, go low to the gym, impact, fine. and they have to I'll, like... I'll give you the gym comparison. Go to the gym three days a week, eat like 200 calories below maintenance, and you'll be there in a year. If you're starting from average, the male beauty standard that's rarely challenged by the mainstream media is literally excuse me, literally unobtainable without two, if not three of the following elite genetics, steroids, five plus years of treating the gym as a part time job. I disagree. I've seen very not muscular men get muscular with not good genetics in way less time. Men do build muscle a lot quicker, and it's a lot more. I'm dense, not saying you have to look but, like the Rock to get a woman, or that all women but, necessarily <laughs> prefer the ideal. I'm just stating what the cost of a perfect body is for each gender. I don't think you I even just, know what women really like in terms of body type, because we don't want like the crazy Thor-looking body. I didn't body. say that. Well, I the, didn't say that. The body you don't need steroids women. to look great. That I know would last like. five so, plus years. Okay, let me so, let, like, let me just make it easy. And I know you want to come in here. Let me I just, was just going to clear up your point. Uh, let, let me just say it like this. Understand. Here's my point. Agree or disagree? The beauty standard that each gender is trying to achieve. My position is is that it's harder for men to achieve the male beauty standard than it is for women to achieve the female beauty standard. That's it. That's what I'm arguing. Yeah, but I disagree. Why? Because it's not that hard. Because how you, you feel? No, because it you feels? have more testosterone. You, know you put like... muscle on faster. But okay. you don't. You need not even. You need not even weight train as a woman to get like to reach the beauty standard. You said leg muscle. It's very hard to build air muscle definition. No, but the point I was trying to make is that normal woman. <laughs> oh my god. That normal woman. These people that you think are normal what? are working out. They're Do you know that like women take up most of the market when you see like weight loss ads, weight loss pills, all of these things, women Wait. are like flooding the market with that because women really do have a hard time getting in shape and you can't discredit child giving birth. Okay, because okay, that does okay. change that's, your body. That's not related me, to the conversation. But. It's, it's not about being in shape though, which occurs more naturally and easily. A, one, a desirable female body or a desirable male body, ideally. Women have to have a nice waist-to-hip ratio, not be overweight, breasts, ass, hips, 
those things develop naturally through puberty. Men do not put on the amount of muscle mass that women find desirable without having to work for it. So that's what we're saying. The female body is going to develop to be desirable quicker than the male body is going to be. You have desirable. to work to get it, but we also have to work to maintain it. That that's what? neither here nor there though. We're talking about getting there. I can't, which I which can't argue with which, this girl which occurs first? You which, love it. Which your occurs, husband must be very patient. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> it's about which Actually, occurs I first. Really I th I, women are found more desirable you say, because okay, your bodies are naturally going to develop into having desirable features. You're going to grow breasts. You know, you're going to grow hips. Not everybody, but yeah, most. Yeah, but yeah. what? Yeah, but that's what he's saying. He's saying it's easier for the female body to develop into a desirable body than it is for the male. Men have to work to get the ideal body that women are attracted to. Women don't necessarily have to work. Puberty will take you there. Mm -hmm. that's well, what I saying. can say this. Can I've been down. Your face is getting blocked. Okay. More, 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 more. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so I, I can say this. I've been. I was a dancer for eight years. I did weight training for five plus years. I've done bodybuilding shows. I know how much work it takes to look good. But here, let me tell you this. Me before, without doing weight training, I, I would say I did look better than mm -hmm. maybe my husband did, but I didn't meet him before he worked out. I already met him after he'd already been trained for five years. He did say he was a chubby kid. And even when he hit puberty, he didn't look that good. So I think it's relative. I don't know if we can even say a generalized statement right now, which is harder. <laughs> I really don't know if we can say that. Let me ask you a question, right? <laughs> who, who has it? This is like kind of totally out of left field. Who would have an easier time being a slut? An obese <laughs> woman or an obese man? An obese woman. An obese woman. Hmm. Interesting. Well, women are more likely to be fetishized, so like hmm. obese women. Nick, gonna be you have those photos of, like, what Henry Cavill and yeah. Scarlett Johansson and shit. We'll just let's just blast through all of them. What's that? Men first. Men first, then women, or maybe, okay. There's now these are depictions in media. Damn. Women often complain to, oh, the beauty standards as depicted in in, in magazines and media. It's on mm -hmm. the unattainable beauty standards. <laughs> Wait, put us on the other side so we Is can, or make us smaller, make us smaller. Just alone on this? <laughs> Left. All right, that, that, what is it, Chris Evans? Is this Chris, yeah, Evans? Chris Evans? Okay, next. It's my hall pass. That's uh, Thor, what's his name? Chris Hemsworth, okay. Uh, Henry Cavill, next. Mm -hmm. Now the women. That's, okay, Scarlett Johansson. That's, what's her name from? Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Okay, that's it? Okay, the two, the two, bo the, the bodies of the men, that's like, that is so much more unobtainable. <laughs> Almost any woman could achieve the bodies of those women. The whole, the whole feminist position is there are depictions in media of these unobtainable body types, but we never look at the opposite side of the coin as, Actually, the depictions of male body types in media, and I'm using superhero movies here, women who are Scarlett Johansson, Gal Gadot, superheroes, right? Those guys, superheroes. Again, elite level genetics, treating the gym like a part-time job and or steroids to achieve those physiques I showed. Disagree. Okay, uh, let me what? go. Let me go. What do you disagree let me on? go back what to my. You, what, let me go what back do you to disagree? my. Let me go back. I got to pee. Go ahead, say your thing. <laughs> what the? the this was directed towards you. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, maybe when you're younger, this would apply. Okay, because when you're young, you're a dude. You want to hit the gym with your, yeah, you know, with your guy friends, I'm whatever. <laughs> with your guy friends and whatnot. <laughs> Are you still listening? <laughs> Should I continue my point? Yeah. Okay, I'll continue my point. Okay, so what I'm saying is when you're younger, yeah, maybe a, for a woman, it might be a little bit easier to maintain a, a petite physique. And then for a guy, maybe it is a little bit more work. But if you yes. think about it, when you're in your 40s and your 50s, Oh. A woman oh. is going through... Plato the Kid 22 donated $100. The body is a determination of the willing. It's running faster, stronger and better than most guys that makes us desirable. 
The girl can just not eat cheeseburgers. That's never going to be fair. That's all we say. I eat cheeseburgers all the time. Um, That's all we say. (laughs) Anyways. Because I go to the gym, I can afford it. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody should go to the gym. But my point is, is that maybe when you're younger, it's a little bit easier for women to keep their you know petite physique but then for a guy maybe yeah he does have to take extra time go to the gym lift weights you know do bench press do his pull-ups deadlifts and all that stuff um but later on down the road you know women have a, a really hard time staying in that shape versus a man you know his body's not going through a hormonal you know tsunami as it would with a woman and so he can usually maintain his body a lot better than a woman can at that point we don't even want the woman she oh shit. what what, what kind the, of the, sexist point, misogynistic that, shit point, have i walked into you talking about at the uh, she talking about menopause and at the pregnancy well you need to discuss that, that we, because you're talking about women no we're talking about ach- we're talking about achieving who what achieves is. the most desirable body more naturally and easier do you say you mm. don't want women like what if they're forty to fifty yeah, or if they hit? Menopause? I'm talking about generally. I'm talking about the way we perceive attractiveness. I'm talking about the we're general population. We're talking peak, peak we're talk, we're, 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 I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna no. agree. Who gets there easier? Yeah. That's all. I'm not gonna Here, agree. We're, we're talking about like for like. Bringing in yes, there are certain biological realities of women going through pregnancy. But if we're comparing like for like, if we're comparing a m- men between the ages of eighteen and thirty who uh, we're not factoring in women who get pregnant, then there, there's, no, there's no comparison. Yeah. I guess I'm a little bit biased. Just take the L, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the L. Don't call me bro. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not dude. a bro. My bro. <laughs> Wait, I'm not okay. your bro. You know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I just, I, I do. I... I'd like to take this chance to apologize <laughs> to absolutely nobody. Okay, girl. So... <laughs> I don't care. Here, let's. We need to. I'm sorry, Puffy. Puffy, I'm so sorry. Yeah, Ray, we we Puffy, definitely. I'm sorry, Puffy. Puffy. I'm, I'm gonna I'm say Puffy, that. Puffy ain't even I'm watching sorry. no more. Ray, Puffy. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, read it. Never mind. Your mouth is so big it's unattractive. You say Marvel bods aren't women's desire. Five minutes later, Chris Pine is your hall pass. Please go put your makeup back on so we don't have to hear you for an hour. Wow. Any girl that says that that uh, the picture of Chris Evans saying that they would prefer a dad bod over Chris Evans' physique that we showed, which isn't like super steroided up, although he might. Be, I don't know. Yeah, he looked more normal. I think, yeah, it was it was like a little more on the a- athletic side, yeah. I'd say. I mean, still, that's pretty insane um, physique. But yeah, they're they taking his physique. They're not they're not going for the dad bod. Yeah. If they had a choice, they're picking. Yeah, his physique. I don't think I've ever heard a woman but see a dad see bod pop up and just be like, oh, oh my god. Huh? Like, like if you like put a girl that's not really in shape, a dad bod would be a girl that maybe has a few extra pounds and then a girl that's like very fit, you would choose the girl that's also, you would choose the overweight Wait, girl? What? I'm confused. Everyone wants the best that they can but get. But also Wait. you might see the, one of these girls that have the natural nice bodies because they just don't eat <laughs> yes. cheeseburgers. You don't know if they're like running three times a week. You don't know if they're like eating <laughs> 1200 calories every day. You know, they've lost their period. No. Like, you don't know these things. Right? This is what happens. This is why it's so important to go to the gym. Go to the gym. <laughs> she, she's like, Can shout I out my, plug gym. my gym. <laughs> let's, Puffy, let's I see. I have Puffy. a woman's gym, by the way. Puffy. Oh. 